we are. We've got a five month old pup. She's already been introduced to water. No water issues. She's going in. She's retrieving. She's hitting the water fairly hard. I talked about how um, things that we face for environmental issues, either in hunt test or duck hunting. Take a look at what I have here. I've got a really uh, nice, fairly thick beaver pond. Okay, there's a lot of uh, down logs. There's brush growing up out of the water. A lot of uh, water issues. Okay, um, if you look around me here at the bank, I've got a pretty heavy bank all the way around me, around this beaver pond. Okay. I got only a couple of areas for a dog to really go out and come back in, alright? This is one of the things I want to try to prevent at the beginning is I want to try to prevent uh, bank running. Bank running is a dog will go and make a retrieve, um, the dog will swim, you know, 30, 40 yards away from you, see there's a way that you can get out of the water, and then they'll bank run, they'll run the bank to you. This right here kind of introduces the dog the right way. There's only one way in and out, and that's through the trainer or whoever has sent you, okay? What I'm doing here is I'm going to use live pigeons here with this pup. I'm going to throw it into cover. I'm going to make her go through and over sticks. She's going to swim out in this pond going after that live flapping pigeon. But you know what? Also, she's going to go through the brush. The brush is going to be hitting her legs. She's going to feel all of these environmental issues in the water and she's going to get used to working in water with them. The reason why is I've been to a lot of hunt tests. It's hard to find water for using beaver ponds. Guys, some, even some professional trainers, they have beaver ponds. This happens to be one of the beaver ponds that I trained with when I was a professional trainer. I trained in this pond. Dogs have to get used to this stuff. If you go to a hunt test and you call for a remote bird, it's a watermark, whether it's a junior, senior, or masters, and you send your dog. Some dogs, if they're not used to working through this type of water uh, issues, um, they're going to blink. They're going to bank run. They're not going to want to enter the water. You're not going to get a solid entry. So at five months old, um, I've got a pretty high puppy here. I'm going to train her to get used to those issues young. I'm going to put these water issues to bed now so that when we get into master level, that type of stuff, when we're really testing these dogs to go all the way across and we want them to do a blind on the other side of a beaver pond like this, in the actual hunting conditions, the dogs are used to going through this stuff, at least in their mind. They're going to take that line, they're going to go through the brush, the thistle, whatever's needed in the water to to get that down bird and bring it back. So let's start the intro. So I'm going to turn her loose. This dog, she loves the water. She asked me she was a young pup. And that's fine. I'm letting her just have some water. But no, I don't have a lot of controls on her at five months. She likes the water. She likes birds. It's all that matters. She can see, see how tense she is? Here. <laughs> I'm going to try to get a bird out there into the cover. That actually didn't go that way, but... Nice, strong swimming pup at five months old. She doesn't care what she's going through. She's looking for that bird. Now watch. She's going to turn either left or right when she turns. Dogs are handed. They'll usually turn the same way every time. Just giving her a slight recall. What you want to do is when they're in a pond like that, you want to try to keep them focused as to where you're at. A ball cap a lot of times. Wave a ball cap. Try to get them to head back in your direction. This is going to help to try to keep her in the water. She has She's coming out a little bit away from me, but that's okay. Good girl. I'm going to come up to her and take the bird on the edge. It's not uncommon. The dogs will bring the birds out to the edge of the water and they won't want to come any further. 
I'm not worrying about that. I'm not trying to train everything all at once. Right now, what I want to train, if you take a look at her, is I am training confidence, confidence in water obstacles. I don't care about the retrieving, the delivery right now. We'll work on that when she gets a little older. It's fall time, or almost fall. I want to get this stuff trained in her. In the winter time, I'll spend time on the controls, you know? There we go. There's some brush there. Notice how she's swimming hard for that bird. The bird's the first thing in her mind. It's not any of these water obstacles. They're not bothering her, okay? Again, notice the way she turns. Dogs are handed. They usually always turn in the same direction. That's important. You're gonna need to know that when you start teaching these dogs how to handle. I try not to use my whistle. She's watching me. Up my hands a little. Let her stay focused. Again, she can't really bank run on me, right? Let's step away and see if I get her to come out. Come on. Come on, bud. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Here, here, here. Come on. Again, I'm not too, too worried about this. If I have to go get it, I will. Good girl. I just wanted to take it out of the water. That's okay. And I'll throw it again. Again, I'm not worried about retrieving the hand or carrying it out of the water. She's a young pup. I want these water obstacles through her at a young age. Nice one. We've got to go through that cover to get to this bird. It also takes the bird a little bit out of her mind. It means when she gets out there, she's got to do a fine. Very good. She used, she had to use her eyes, her nose, and also she worked through obstacles for the game. The game was more important than the obstacles she had to deal with. This is how we introduce dogs to environmental obstacles by the use of live game. This was a very, very good test for a pup. No fear in water. Used her nose and her eyes, lifted her head and still swam with the bird. Very good, very good one. Still high. Still low for a cup. See, we got the hup going just a little bit. I don't I don't like to uh, really put a lot of control on my dog when they go. Hup. Hup. I like this intensity. Let's try another one. I like the focus. That's all I like to see in my dogs. That's why she's in my breed, she's gonna be in my breeding program. Get the water hard. Mix. Very bold, very intense. She's a very, very intense dog. Finding on water, swimming around and locating, and water hazards. I, I can't, I don't think it's going to be anything more than that. I'll end it right there.